Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm gonna be reacting to My Terrible Mouth Accident by Let Me Explain Studios. And yeah. So, let's get started. And sorry about my bird, and sorry about my brother's bird, he's just being really annoying. Anyway, let's get started. Jeez. Well, I guess that's what you call more rebound than a kickball. 
I'll... No, I don't think Dad appreciated the musical number. When we got to the hospital, the doctors ended up having to push my teeth back into their original position, but these teeth were pretty much destroyed. Oh, and when Mom showed up to the hospital, she said Dad was covered in blood and looked like that he'd lost a fight with an angry cat. Ah, poor Dad. <laughs> there wasn't anything more that the doctors could do at the hospital, but we still had to wait two weeks for me to heal before I could see a dentist. And what the dentist ended up having to do was give my front two teeth a root canal and then fill it with a compound so it would stay in my head until my permanent teeth were ready to come in. You know, I'm actually really glad that I don't remember any of this. I'm already insane in the membrane enough as it is. Who knows how bad I'd be today if I had to carry around this childhood trauma with me. The whole ordeal had basically killed my front two teeth, and they turned yellow. Also, the next tooth over needed a half metal crown on the back of it, and given that teeth are translucent, that made the tooth look green. So yeah, for the next few years of my childhood, I was walking around with yellow and green teeth. Just look at this jacked up mouth of mine. I think I had these teeth until I was about six or seven, and as you can imagine, such a blow to the face not only messed up my baby teeth, but my permanent teeth came in wonky as well. In fact, when I went to the orthodontist to get braces in middle school, she discovered I had four permanent teeth that were supposed to come in, but were stuck up in my gums. I had to get teeth removed so they could come in. My mouth was a train wreck. Thankfully, I think I've finally got these chompers under control. They ain't perfect, but who could blame them after going through such misery? It's okay, Teeth. You're good enough. That's why I never animate you. Oh. For those of you wondering, yes, my dad did eventually get that play fort built. I'd have thought he'd think twice about letting his clumsy daughter up in high places, but eh, none of the Param children ever fell out of that fort. I guess I set a pretty good example of what not to do. You hear that, Mom? Your daughter's a trailblazer. What? The explainers just wanted to say thanks to Eddie Bowley for lending his voice as the Tooth Fairy in the opening skit. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. I genuinely love his stuff, so go check him out. I also want to say a big thank you to my longtime friend Megan Mayer for storyboarding a segment on this video. I'm really excited about this. She's going to be periodically jumping in on videos and helping me. We've been talking about it since February, and it's finally come to fruition. And hopefully this means I'll be able to get more videos out to you guys more often. Anyways, explainers, thank you so much for tuning in, but now I gotta tune out. Bye! Alright, thanks so much for watching, and, uh, yeah, I will make more of these, and sorry about my brother's bird, he's just, he's just being annoying. You know what, fine, I'll put back on your cockatiel singing. There we go. There we go. Enjoy your video. Anyway, guys, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Anyways, goodbye, and I will see you in the next video.